absolutely nothing, really. Because please tell me, am I the only one who's like scared to be optimistic about this year? I was ready as hell for 2020 and the year laughed in my face. So now, I'm, I'm just hoping for the best. And on that cheery note, my name is Tanya and you are now watching The Yellow Wall in 2021. Make a team do the matter. Still an agent water with this sweet pure water. But no be me go judge. The year that I just passed and not to be named again was a lot to say the least. Kobe Bryant died, David Bozeman died, Dan Foster and countless other people died of COVID, which turned into a global pandemic and forced us all to stay indoors for weeks. Australia had bushfires, Meghan Markle and Harry ran away from the royal family, America went full on racist but then got a female black slash Asian vice president which was pretty awesome. There was an explosion in Lebanon, America had some bushfires of their own, Nigerians got super mad about rape but then sort of just forgot about it, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, there were murder hornets for a hot minute, Nigerians started protesting for their lives with the hashtag NSTARS movement which resulted in a terrible massacre. Butter Boy cheated, Whiskey tried to save us all with a truly fire album and those are only the things I can think of from like the top of my head. So yeah, last year was a lot. But honestly, I think I've been left with some PTSD because normally at the beginning of the year, I have this full on list of like goals I want to achieve for the year and resolutions, and which I know I only probably put in for the first few months, but I write them out anyway. I spend the last few hours of the year praying, making all these plans, feeling so excited for the new year about to come. And I'm usually like, yeah, I'm gonna own this year. But for 2021, I think the difference I've made here. I have my list of goals, sure, and you know, one or two resolutions. I sort of my usual gra gra planning, but I came at the year from a place of humility. And I get the feeling a lot of people are feeling the same way. Which brings me to the first topic of the year things we are begging 2021. One, a COVID cure. Look, I always knew COVID wasn't going to magically disappear by the beginning of 2021. I was always so confused in meetings when people would be like, oh, we'll be back next year. I think they have some kind of crystal ball to look into to know that they'll be back anyway. If anything, COVID decided to get real spicy in late October, early November. So obviously, it wasn't going to vanish at the beginning of the year. But by like May of this year, things should be under control, I think. Between all the world powers, all our smartest medical minds and all the people with money, all of you should come together and please come up with some kind of cure. Yes, I'll do a bag. I miss wearing lipstick. You know how it is to maintain lipstick when you're wearing mask every two seconds? It's not easy. I hear there's a vaccine about to be rolled out though, so it does look like 2021 is listening to my plea. Am I slightly scared that the vaccine will backfire and instead of carrying us lead to a zombie outbreak? Right. But I've watched enough zombie shows to know how to survive. Plus, at least then, I'm able to wear my lipstick in peace. So we move. Any which one, just be done with COVID. Thing two, money. If you're in Nigeria, living in Nigeria right now and any Naira, you need money. I don't care what you do, how much you make, but I know for a fact that with our current exchange rate, you need more money. Last year was a brutal assault on all our finances. Between the exchange rate, the pandemic, and Netflix being so sweet that people didn't even know when they would just whoop the bus TV. Me personally, my own account was on E by the end of the year, and I know many people are in the same situation. I feel like if there's one thing we've all collectively asked this year for, it was more money. Because more money at work, more opportunities, more rich uncles who feel generous, more random notes found in our pockets, less scraps from the government so our currency can stop being toilet paper, more sugar daddies who are interested in actual sugar. Just more money! This one is tough, Jack, because with more money, we probably come more responsibilities and stress. This one is tough, Jack, because with more money, we probably come more responsibilities and stress. But it's okay. Bring the money first. I can use the notes to clean my stress in this year. This is easy. In three, romance or a lack of depends on how you are Last year, I'm pretty sure every single person I knew in a relationship either got engaged or broke up with their partner. There was no in between. No saying the same, no going on the same path. It was either next step or being kicked off the step. And I get it. In a year of uncertainty and chaos and people dying and no one knowing what comes next, people wanted to be with the ones they love. Or they wanted to be free to do whatever they wanted in their last few moments. People who are single before either stayed single, some due to choice, some due to conditions, like cinema, or they boot up real quick. And the thing is, 
I don't know how many of these choices were made with like actual romance in mind. Well, most of my friends got engaged because we were wildly in love and it was always part of their plan. Also, not like three guys who got engaged that year because it was the right thing to do. Not because they were in love, not because they wanted to do forever with the person, but because in a year of economic uncertainty where your bride might die, they just thought, I guess this makes sense. Take a ring. So obviously, they're not gonna last. As it is, one of those engagements did not even make it to the end of 2020. Even me and myself, let me not just come for the engaged folks, me and myself, I entered a few entanglements, and with one very noticeable exception, it was mostly just like pandemic in this chaos, not because I had actual feelings for these people. So for 2021, I hope we get back to actual women. I hope people yellow from a place of enjoyment, not fear. I hope people get engaged because they are disgustingly in love and not just because they are scared their moms might catch corona and not be able to walk them down the aisle. And I hope people who entered pandemic relationships manage to free themselves. And those of you who love being single with no setting, you continue to, you know, go on in peace without thinking that maybe you should settle down just because it's the right thing. And then for my producer and others who are single and searching, please don't be here to be a family channel for me. And Jerry, please go, somebody love you. I just want lots of love for 2021, guys. Lots of sweaty, passionate, getting love. I don't know how they love me to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Big world adventures. One of the most stressful things about last year was the time we had to spend in there. Everybody, from the people who are inside for a week to the ones who have to stay for months, was frustrated at some Even essential workers have to go out to stress because they were stuck somewhere they didn't want to be as well. Their own was even worse, so it was worse. Even when restrictions were lifted, traveling was still a bit difficult. Going somewhere new isn't just a click away anymore. So many other factors have to be considered. 2020 took away our ability to explore new places and experiences. So for 2021, I hope it's a year of tons of adventure. I hope we all get to go out and experience new things, new food, new people, new environments, new languages, new clothes, new men and women, just something new. And I'm begging 2021 to, at the very least, let us go out and have a small adventure. And since I'm begging 2021, let me also beg Accelerate to mayhap finally do the need for us, send me on a trip so I can do adventure for the platform. If 2021 won't help, maybe you people can help now. Uh, I don't look like I need a little bit. Thing five, a better Nigeria. I don't know why I don't know where to go and start with this, but it can't help to quietly slip it into my request. Even if it's just steady like a Naira being in the system. Something like 2021, I beg, not beg, not beg, I beg, beg, just something, something to improve the country. Just, just more. As much as I'm trying not to get my hopes up, I am pretty excited for 2021. Even the toilet saying that was 2020 wasn't all bad. I can't think of anything good right now, but I mean, I'm sure Sadi here, you are sure watching this program now, so that's something. And I don't want to jinx this year, but I hope 2021 is amazing for all of us. I hope we all spend it as happy as we can be, healthy, well-fed, and full of that dirty, disgusting love. And I hope that Accelerate either listens to my earlier request or kindly does not vex if I disappear for a week or two and seek out some adventure of my own because I know the year is early but it's not that early to start. And that brings me to the end of the episode. What are some things you're hoping for from 2021? Let me know in the comments below or on our social media platforms and be sure to subscribe to Accelerate TV. I don't know where the button is. To see what magic we have in store for you this year. My name is Tamar and I'll be back in or so weeks, depending on how long my adventure takes. With more from the Yellow Wall! Okay. This is how I'm letting people know I'm taking the video. It's 2021! <laughs> Look at my white eye! Wow! Let's go! <laughs> Make a table the matter, still an agent butter with this if you're water, but no be me go judge. 